everybody, it's Jackie. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing my top seven auto buy authors. So these are authors that I've read multiple books by that I automatically purchase a new book by them whenever they are released. So like I said, I have seven of them here. They're in no particular order, but these are just some of the, um, some of the authors that I love to read the most and that I've enjoyed pretty much all of their books. So the first one I have here is Veronica Roth. She wrote the Divergent Trilogy and she just released her newest book which is Carve the Mark which is a science fiction novel um, in January and I absolutely love the Divergent Trilogy. I own all the books. Um, I haven't read Carve the Mark yet but I plan on reading it soon. I absolutely just love the aspect of any young adult dystopian but Divergent was one that captured my mind from the minute um, I started reading the books and when I saw the movies. I actually saw the movies first before I read the books, but both of them are fantastic. Right? She has a really unique writing style that I absolutely love, and I think that I will continue to read her books for the long as she publishes them. The next book is an, a newer author that I've only just recently started reading, and that is Sarah J. Mass. So she wrote the Throne of Glass series, as well as the Accord of Thorns and Roses. I think it's going to be a trilogy. I'm not positive on that. I read Throne of Glass last fall. I absolutely loved it. I have yet to read Accord of Thorns and Roses, but again, I plan on reading that soon. And like I said, kind of similar with Veronica Roth. I love her writing style. I love the fantastical world she has developed for the Throne of Glass series. I just love everything that she puts into her stories and it's just absolutely fantastic and I can't recommend her books enough. If you guys have not read the Throne of, Gla Throne of Glass series or the Court of Thrones and Roses series, please go check them out. I've heard of Court of Thrones and Roses, it's fantastic. Throne of Glass is absolutely fantastic. Please go read them. The next author is Lori Ferris Stellarts, who is a young adult, like, psychological thriller mystery author and um, all of her books are pretty much take place in Massachusetts and Salem, Massachusetts. I live in Massachusetts about 45 minutes away um, from Salem so these are um, books that are really, really close to my heart taking place in my home state. So um, like I said they're mostly psychological thrillers. Um, this is her Blue is for Nightmares series. I own the first four books as the fifth book but I wrote them all. And then she also has another series out. Um, I can't remember the name of it, but I've also read all the books to that. And I've read, I think, nine of her books total? I'm not quite sure, but they're all really fantastic. If you guys like psychological thrillers, please go read this. It's really, really good, and I can't recommend these enough, like I said, pretty much with all of these authors. The next two authors um, are going to be... No surprise to anybody who's been on my channel for a while now. The first one is obviously J.K. Rowling, <laughs> who wrote the Harry Potter series. I own all seven books, plus The Cursed Child in the Harry Potter series, as well as um, The Casual Vacancy, which is her adult mystery novel, I believe. I got that for Christmas, so I own pretty much all of her books, and I really enjoyed Harry Potter. Can't recommend the series enough if you haven't already read it. Please go read it. Haven't checked out the Casual Vacancy yet, but I plan on doing so because it sounds really good and sounds right up my alley. So, yeah, please go read Harry Potter if you haven't already. <laughs> the next author I'm going to talk about, like I said, it's not going to be a surprise to anybody who has been on my channel for a while. That author is Pete Wentz. So, Pete Wentz wrote my favorite book of all time, which is Grey. Um, this is a contemporary novel that pretty much takes place. Um, it follows our main character, who really doesn't go by name in the story, but it um, pretty much is about what happens in a rock star's mind when they are on tour away from family and friends, because uh, Pete Wentz is a rock star. He's in the band Fall Out Boy, if you guys have ever heard of them. He's the bassist and lyricist for them, and I'm a huge fan of Fall Out Boy. When I read this book, I just became completely engrossed by it. It was just an amazing book. I can't recommend it enough. He has another book out as well that came out in 2005, I believe, but I have not read that. Um, I don't know if he plans on releasing any more books anytime soon. He hasn't talked about it in a while, but I hope he does because this one was just absolutely fantastic. The second to last author I have here to talk about is a newer one to me as well. That author is Diana Gabaldon, who wrote the Outlander series. So I've only ever read Outlander. I just finished it in January. Absolutely loved it. Um, it's very, very well known here on BookTube. Uh, a lot of people have read it and really liked it. And there's also a TV series. 
Um, this is an eight book series, so it's quite large, and I've only ever read the first one, like I said, but I do plan on continuing on with the second book, which I believe is called Dragonfly and Amber, probably in the spring, because it's just, I need to continue on with the series. Her writing style is fantastic, and please go read this if you haven't already. And the last author I have here to talk about is Rick Riordan, who wrote the Percy Jackson series, and this is a spin-off, which is The Heroes of Olympus, which is a sequel to Percy Jackson, and he also has two, no, three more series out. Um, the Magus Chasing the Gods of Asgard series, which is North Mythology, um, The King Chronicles, which is Egyptian Mythology, and then The Trials of Apollo, which uh, follows the god Apollo and his adventures. So I read Percy Jackson last spring. I absolutely loved it. It's a great middle of grade story. If you guys have not checked it out, I'll leave um, all my reviews down below for them. Uh, and it's just fantastic. He, it's all based off mythology from different cultures, and I think that's really, really cool. So please go check out Rick Jordan's books. I can't recommend them enough. So that's all I'm going to have for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and hit subscribe if you have not already. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome. I upload my videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you on Wednesday. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye!